Hey everybody, George the Tech here. Well, I just hung up the phone, well, doing Zoom support actually with a wonderful voice actor named Ruth Kaufman. And she made it painfully clear that unfortunately, there's a lot of voice actors out there or fledgling voice actors, one or the other, who think uh, there's just some serious misconceptions about what Source Connect means for them in a home studio. Um, I did a long, one hour long Q&A video covered every topic I could possibly think of and everything that everybody threw at me. And yet, there are still people out there that have confusion about what Source Connect actually does for them and what uh, what it's capable of doing. Apparently, this one misconception, this is the one I want to bust right now, this myth. We're using the hashtag Source Connect Myths all over Facebook. So if you're looking for what all these are, I'm going to be using this hashtag heavily um, but another one of the major myths that I didn't even predict would be a problem um, is people think that just because you're doing a Source Connect session with some studio producer, think they think that being on Source Connect and connecting to a studio means that their audio quality will automatically sound studio quality. Like because they're connecting through some studio, the studio's sound quality will be part of how they sound. That's not at all true. Um, the sound of the studio has nothing to do with that recording. Now, the producer will be able to take the audio they record from you, and of course, they're going to do their magic, some EQ, compression, all these things to polish it up and make it fit into the mix. They're going to produce it, but they're still taking whatever audio you're giving them, and that's the best they can do. So if the audio that's coming in from your mic is full of background noise, echo, heater noise, noise from the subway, whatever, all the other things that the microphone's picking up, plosives, bad mic technique, all those things that might not be sounding right in your studio, that's what the studio is going to hear on the other end. And they're going to hear it in 3D through big studio monitors or whatever they're listening. They're going to hear it all. It's all in there. So the bottom line is Source Connect requires a good sounding studio that is relatively quiet. How quiet? that's going to be determined by the studio you're connecting with. So before an actual session happens, you're going to do a test with them to make sure that your connections are working well together and that they're okay with the sound quality you're providing them. If you're not sure that your sound quality is up to snuff, let alone your equipment and everything else, then you definitely want to do a session, do a tech support session with me or one of the others out there like Dan Leonard, um, Tim Tippett's, um, some of the studios will do it, such as Soundbox LA, Tim Friedlander, and those guys. Do get get their audio. Oh, Uncle Roy, sorry, Uncle Roy. Um, send your audio to them and make sure or have a session with any of these guys that's available. We're all really busy, but whoever you can get a hold of and make sure the audio quality that you're capturing is going to be usable by a pro studio on the other end. So anyway, that's a misconception. Please remember that. It's, it's because you're connected on Source Connect doesn't mean your sound quality automatically sounds like the studio sounds. It's going to sound the way your mic, your closet, or your home studio sounds. That's what's going to be in the recording. All right, I hope that clears up a hashtag source connect myths. Anyway, this is George the Tech. Uh, stay safe, everybody. Good luck. Um, hang in there. Um, we're all, all, all us techie people are here for you to keep your studios running. So, um, Stay tuned. All right. Peace.